Yeah, action, Jamie. Right, so for this video, what it pretty, pretty much come down to is we're sick of answering the same question eight million times, aren't we? Andy? Well, to be fair, when I don't know, I'll just ring Jamie up and ask him and then he but, tells me the same thing Now, anyway. what we want to go through is a, a basic guide to commercial elastics. Yes. You know what I mean? All about, as with all the fishing that we do, simplifying things as much as possible, 100%. isn't it? I mean, that's what we're going to go through. What we use, aren't we? Yeah. Um, Very simplified version. Nothing's changed for us for like... Oh, how long? Years and years in regards to like these lighter elastics that we're going to use, has it? We've now, used them since day one. Yeah, let's start on that. So we're going to start with what we've let's just finished with, with. Yeah, let's just finish with. So these Silver will be from fish. what we're talking like, end of October all the way through to like yeah. now. This October beautiful till end day. of Feb. It is, isn't it? Silverfish commercials. Go on. Silverfish commercials. So what basically, do we use? there's three different elastics that you'd need to cover all your commercial silverfish, even so much as like carp and F1s, in it? Or the lime. Keep it silver to start with because otherwise we go confuse it. Right, so, and they are fives, sixes, and eights. Uh, Preston slip, it Pre is- Original slip original elastic, slip. isn't it's it? It's stood the test of time. Yeah, not hybrid-y, not hollow or anything. No. Slip elastic, what is it? It's like three pound 20 for a spool. like 28 meters. Yeah, you, you can do so two top kits out of one, you can can't definitely, you? can do two long top kits. And this is the thing that we're talking about long top kits. We don't use little babby short kits on, on any of the, like the winter's fishing. Not for silver like fishing, no. Because it's too, there's not enough elastic in the uh, top kit to start with, and you were doing lots and lots of bumpy bumpy. Yeah. And we don't like that. You're fishing deeper as well a lot of the time, aren't you? Yeah, pretty much. It's going to be like certainly four foot plus, isn't it? But yes. we'll, yeah, we'll come on to that in a bit. So make sure, obviously, first things first, lubricant. So 10 parts conditioner to one part water. No, yeah, they do <laughs> the, need There must be. That's worth I mean, obviously, about. they're coated anyway with a slip. But you do need to make sure you're looking after them. Yeah. And these I find that with all elastics, though. That's the general rule with all yeah. elastics. I lube mine to death. Cheeky. Well lubed, all of them. You do like it, you do like it nice and Covered smooth, them, don't yeah. you, Jamie? want it slippy. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so there are silverfish, yeah. long kits, so, long, long kits. kits, posh kits as well. Right, so when would you use each other? So fives, to be fair, when I'm fishing in shallower water or shallow um, for the silvers, that bloody noisy seagull, that's when I'd use five. So like, let's say four foot of water, something like that or less, I'm going to be using five, simply because sometimes with the sixes, certainly the eights, we're not going on to the eights yet, the striking into the fish to come to the top straight away. If you're talking about the catching little baby skimmers, them. and we don't, I mean, obviously there's a lot of stretch in the sixes, but the five is just nice. You can strike into them and start shipping back and they just stay nice and low. Yep. The other thing for your shallow fishing, if you're fishing in deeper water, um, it's keeping them fish below the surface of the water again. Yep. It's all about not stop striking too hard and stop the fish splashing. Yep. So attract these little, how many times you had them seagulls go for your Seagull fish, nail, innit? But more often than not, this is the one that we're on. So sixes slip is probably the best and the most popular elastic in the whole wide world for silvers fishing. It's just absolutely amazing. It's not as yellow as it once was. I've, I've had it in since like October. But that's what I'm saying as well. When you, you do your elastics, you do the same as me. In October, you redo your fives, sixes and eights. Yeah, definitely. They last until the end of March. Oh, Literally, end of I've, not done, I've not changed it whatsoever. It's just lasted. It's not fraying or anything like that. Yeah. They just last. You get the winter out of an elastic, don't you? Nick? And then like the, the bit that's left, you, you refed that for the following year, for the yeah. following October. Yeah, leave it you? in to pull it through. Uh, so yeah, so that's the sixes slip will be the one that you'll go to for most of your fishing. So we're talking four foot plus. Um, you know, sort of like bigger fish, bigger eye than that, you could use it for, it's perfect. Yeah, a bit deeper, swinging, good for swinging roach. Yeah, sometimes you need to like give it a bit of a pull, yeah. certainly if you're in Dave Brooks beast mode, oh, bit Dave of a pull, and then this, if, there, this is Dave's elastic, we'll come to that in a sec, but yeah. six is for me, it's awesome. Yeah, I like we love sixes it, a lot, we? that's probably my favourite, silver's elastic. Even for like proper cold F1 fishing down the centre of a snake lake or something, mm, I wouldn't the sixes. anymore, no I wouldn't. Would you not? No, not anymore. Oh, Jay's not in that gang anymore, but I am, I still love it. I like yeah. seeing all that elastic come out. Yeah, but it's too delicate, you don't get job done. Anyway, waffle on, yeah, it's all about number eight. Done. Right, so number eight. Now, number eight, you'd be on it at the start of sort of like when you're first going into silverfish mode, October, October. and Solid. then like the last sort of three or four weeks you'd be on it as well. Yeah, well you know, it's getting really jumped good, isn't it? Also for deeper venues, I'm going to say like eight, nine foot plus, potentially if it's like bigger fish, bigger breams. Yeah, to strike through your rig, in it? 100%, because this potentially in deeper water folks, Certainly the sixes, no, certainly it's five, sorry, but the sixes, you're not necessarily setting your hook. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's why an eights will set the hook. Like, we used it, that'll be the last time I used that yesterday, and it was just, 
so. amazing. You know, yeah. catching two pound bream, odd bigger tench, wallet, that elastic comes out and it's, oh, it's just amazing. It's nice, isn't it? For One pulp, Netherlands for us, the, the eight was, comes into it. Well, deep. it was for some people, Jamie, not yeah. for others. Oh, yours was shallow though, so you're on a six. But again, it's depth in it. No, keep yeah. saying it. It's all about depth. It's depth. And as I just touched on a sec, posh kits, as in, uh, with all your silverfish rigs, it's all your best quality match yeah, kits. Yeah, don't use your power kits, folks. It's always, you know, your match kits. Uh, yeah. Your match kits or whatever numbers they are, you know what I mean? It's always the, the lighter kits that you need um, for, for your silvers, uh, elastics. Yeah. Certainly makes a massive difference. If you was to put, I had it yesterday actually, the bloke I was coaching, he had a dead light elastic, but through a power kit. So I explained obviously the situation, he used these and he saw the difference straight away. Yeah. Um, so don't use, because obviously it's just like a little bit top heavy, yeah. just use your nice nicer, kits for your posh match kits, finesse kits, whatever you call them, yeah. your best kits, use for that. And I think right, don't, it. Don't, don't stop waffling about that. Can I so, go now? Silvers so, uh, are gone. Right, come on Jay lad. Next I'm going to go short kits, we're going to break it into three lots. I love short kits. Aren't we? Silver's yeah. done, forget about that, speak yeah. to you about that in October. We're not on silvers anymore in this weather folks. All oh done. no. Short kits and we're a little bit different in this aren't we? Yeah. But we're Elastic wise, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> we keep things the same. Both of us are now fully sold on the hybrid style 100%. of elastic. What are yours called? You changed me, uh, Duraslip. Duraslip, yeah. that's your hybrid, oh, isn't I it? I don't need to do that, but I literally would never use a hollow again. Yeah, ours are the slicky ones, obviously. Yeah. And I want to change the world, right? I want to keep it diameters because <laughs> I'll go colours, folks. I'll fix me. you. I'll fix you quick. <laughs> I'd pay attention more to the diameters when it comes to using hollow elastics because I think the what? ratings aren't versatile enough. But the diameters are sticking the same throughout because there's so many different manufacturers, yeah. isn't there? Right. Yeah, our diameters are the same, yeah. the way they work, you know, pretty much with the ratings. So understand the diameters of your because hollow elastics. The, the colours, you like, could have one colour in one, but it could be like a massive different size in another one. Yeah, 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 but keep things right. easy. So you, what you're looking at diameter-wise, so commercial fishing, it's anywhere from 1.4 millimetre, which is, it's sold in most worlds. I think yours is a seven, ours is a eight to 10. Yeah. That sort of area, but 1.4, that is the, the lowest. So that would be like your starting point? That's a starting point. That's our green for me. Right, okay. Yeah, oh, for yeah, you, it's your light black. blue. So like, yeah, 70 euro, yeah. Yeah, that's really it. light. Spot on for your short kits for your shallow fishing when they first wake up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe for some really, really, really positive silver fishing, but it's your starting or Yeah, more like bigger fish. I than that. Yeah, yeah you that? maybe. But for short kits, I use two. I use this for... When they first, first wake up, right now, yeah, start yeah. of March, yeah. and they're just waking up, I still need something really soft that I can fish O10 on. It's not going to upset the fish, they're not going to splash, keeps them down. So that's the trouble in it, in that shallow water, obviously, because there's not much elastic going through these short kits. Yeah. A little bit, but that... You that, need 1.4 to 1.1. Yeah, 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 and maybe a 1.6 once it starts getting good. Job done, Jay lad, job done. For me, that's all I use in my short kits. Yeah, yeah, I like... You're a bit a different, bit aren't you? So I'll go heavier again, so... What we're saying that is, what we're saying that is like a 10 to 12. Um, 1.4, 1. 1.6, 1. so that'd like be a 10, 10 to 12, yeah. So I'll go to like a 13 inch, which will be, well, will that be two mil, will it? Yeah, no, um, 13 inch will be a 1.8. 1.8, and it's just that elastic Maybe through. Two, yeah, 1.8 it'll be. A top kit like that, literally, you strike into fish, shipping it back in the water, one big pull, and that's it. Yeah, it's a big nice. fish on a short kit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't be nowhere near ready for it now, I'm talking like May, mid-May. Yeah, mid -May real bagging like up that. time, it? But, but it's not real, for me, yeah. but so for you, your F1 style fishing, yeah, so I've got my short kits, I'm going to hit my long ones as well. So what are you saying, 1.4 to 1.6 then? 1.4 and 1.6, yeah? Yeah. Are you two? Love that one. F1-y, small carp, any carp up to sort of three pounds. Obviously you can hook a big one and still get it in. Yeah. But for your, your bulk of your fish, that's what you're looking at. 1.4, 1.6, in your case, seven, nine, maybe 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, 1.4, 1.6, yeah, 7 and 9, they're your F1 elastics for start of the year mm -hmm. or very, very end of the year when you're not hooking many carp yet. Sometimes I'll have them in long kits as well, yeah, yeah. but not a big fan. What's happened to that? Go ahead, Jay, lad. Have I elasticated that for you? Yeah, I'm out of sabotage you, need, folks. Needs a bit of lube, that's all. So I've got a few of my long kits. Yeah. They're with my positive yeah, yeah, like deep water stuff. We'll get yeah. rid of them. And right. then we move up to carpy fishing. So literally, I'll have a bundle of each of them. I'll have six of both of them. And then my short kits as well. Both of those 1.4, 1.6. Yeah. For 99% of carp fishing. Yeah. Again, we're we're in northwest, so it's we've got no stupid venues like Todbury and things like no, that. No, but no, they're we, yeah. unique. For generic fishing everywhere, do you know what I mean? Going all over the place, Hayfield, Lindome, the Glee, wherever. Bit of everything. That's where both of us pretty much move. In fact, we do. We both move up to the 1.8. Yeah. 
which in case your case is what, not the white one next one down 11 no no it's the white one it's so the white one, one. 13 right okay 13 yeah, would yeah. be 1.8 yeah i'm thinking very very close or two mil yeah. yeah big proper job getting done elastics that are still nice you can still fish you're catching fish from two pound to ten pound on them yeah they're good for mm. a bit of everything still got plenty of stretch but when it comes to the two mil it still gets job done and that's it that thicker elastic in the longer kit just it makes out different doesn't it rather than being the short kit where it's dead angry yeah it, it, i like a bit of bend i like a bit of stretch certainly the carp is it more for carpy as well yeah it's let them go your peg better yeah definitely yeah, yeah but like all that. long kits and for me it's that point i don't know about your pole and um, when i get to me 1.8 mil elastics yeah. that's when i swap to different top kits yeah 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 i go to power kits from yeah. 1.8 mil on the um slicky hybrid whatever you want to call it type elastic yeah that's the point that it changes because with um hybrid elastics with the slick it powers up so much quicker than a hollow does yeah it's so it's great when you're playing them really really soft but when you've yanked a few goes on the puller there's a hell of a lot of yeah, pressure yeah, yeah. on the top kits around here, mm. especially with a two mil. I mean, and a big carp on the ends, a lot of pressure, and that could break top kits, yeah. any top kits. Mm. So at that point, say 1.8 mil on the slick hybrid elastics, whatever you call them, that's the point that you change to your um, power power top kits. Yeah. And I, I start with the posh power top kits for these, and then both of us have the same. We have two or three top kits as well, with 2.2 mil or 2.4 mil hybrid elastic. That is ridiculous and should be banned because it's just cruel so obviously honest. for venues some of the venues we go to obviously snags uh you know grab big fish and yeah. things like that you, get them you in need quick. to get them out yeah yeah but we'll literally have i've got one, one of each. two top kits of each i've literally one of each and that's yeah. it they're not something that gets used very often is it it's keeping most of your fishing so your f1 fishing is going to be your 1.4 1.6 mil hybrids and when it comes to your carp fishing your 1.8 and your two mil, two mil. Yeah, it yeah. does pretty much everything if you can have four of each of those you're going to cover 99% of your fishing i think you? it's all done to be fair to you yeah, yeah do you the fishing so hopefully that i felt we kept that good i like that i, fairly, was, all, I was all ready to waffle more but there's no need yeah so any them. more questions on elastics just watch the vid right so we hope you are enjoying the video that you're watching if not have just watched but what we'd also like you to see is the packages that we include for our more technical informational stuff where what we can bring to you is all we pretty much know about the technical side and our match style side of fishing and I'm what not we in have this bit. <laughs> you are of course you are in this bit we have two sides of things we have the basic package that for 4.99 you can watch us fish live matches a q a every month and additional stuff from matty doors with live matches and more technical stuff on his side or we have the all access package where you can literally see technical insights live matches from again from us but also from some of the best anglers flipping on the planet i mean we treat it as three days coaching for us and we go out and we show you what we're learning for anglers like darren cox andy bennett their ship to name Loads. but a few well worth a look if you fancy having a little bit more fishing content to watch